confirmation of our start list for the final. Cassie Mitchell of Canada, Emma Heinzer of Germany, Lee Sophie Friedrichs of Germany. Uh, we have as well, oh, they, they're giving them uh, uh, nice positional bid numbers almost. Uh, Matilda Gross of France, Miriam Vecchia of Italy, and Bayona of Colombia, who I think is the dark horse but can and sometimes does produce some spectacular surprises. Vecchia finishing behind uh, Matilda Gross in their uh, Kieran semi as you probably saw a short while ago. And so uh, it is uh, Emma Heinze who has the golden stars upon her helmet. Uh, the only two countries, uh, the only country that's represented by two riders here. Uh, but of course, Lisa V. Friedrich wears the world champion stripes. Yes, yeah, she does. So Emma Heinze didn't start in the most recent world championships. Uh, she has been a previous world champion in the women's Kirin. Um, but she, um, yeah, is, she's the one, like you say, in wearing those stars on her helmet. Um, she has been a five time world champion in her career, though, Emma Heinze. So incredibly talented. Rider. So Lee Sophie Friedrich, it is that uh, hits the front right now. She's looking um, uh, pensive, and I think she may well be because Emma Heinz is here. Lee Sophie Friedrich won the world title in the absence of Heinz, who had decided that she needed a, uh, a physical and psychological rest. So I think Heinz will want to, first of all, beat Lee Sophie Friedrich, the world champion here, as if to make a little statement. Um, yeah, so it's a really an interesting situation where you've got teammates that are also rivals. We've spoken about that a few times across a few different squads, and you really just make sure you push each other so much in training, day to day, going down the track. One of your biggest rivals in the world is actually also your teammate, so it only makes everyone progress. But we've also got um, some really other exciting riders here. here. So France now making a big move. Big move, an early move as well. And Matilda Gross believes that she doesn't want this to be all a German affair. Away she goes. The Germans are cancelling themselves out. They're a wall, unfortunately, that can't be passed for the time being by Vecce in the blue of Italy. Locked out of the bottom is uh, Bayona. Oh, my goodness. All hell is breaking loose right now. Kelsey Mitchell's way out of position. And right now you're looking. Uh, from the wheel of uh, uh, of Gross, she seeds a position right now, and coming up to the front is Heinzer. Big statement being made by her. Uh, in fact, it's Lisa Sophie Friedrich Heinzer on her case. Oh, and here comes Kelsey Mitchell, but she's got a long, long way to go, Mitchell. But look at the power! Oh my goodness, that was a drive from nowhere. She was on Mars and came in to win. That was an incredible win there for Kelsey Mitchell, and she is just on fire. So look at the delight in her face there. She has beaten the reigning world champion and the previous world champion in the women's Kirin, the two German riders that we've spoken so much about. But Kelsey Mitchell, the new Olympic sprint champion from this summer, has just come and won this Kirin at the UCI Track Champions League.